I hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you five of my top favourite lipsticks at the moment. These are ones that I've been wearing throughout the year. They're great for any season, any event, any occasion and I feel like I need to share them with you guys. So let's get going. So the first lipstick I have is probably the easiest to apply and this is by Burt's Bees and this is a lip crayon in a Nigeria Overlook and this is number 417. It's a really nice kind of dusky rose colour, it's kind of buildable as well so you can pop one layer on and it's a really light lip balm and you can layer this up so it's more of a solid colour which I absolutely love. The colour for me is very neutral, very easy to wear, it goes with anything that I've got in my wardrobe, it stays on really really well and I find that it's just really easy to apply because it's this kind of pencil shape, it's really easy to put on your lips and get the shape of your lips on there as well. It's just a really really nice colour, very wearable and I think this would go with any kind of complexion, any hair colour, any outfit, so one that I'm loving at the moment. Next up I have a matte lip cream and this is by NYX. NYX, not really sure how to say it, but I call it NYX just to make it nice and long for myself. Um, but yeah, this is in Sydney and it's a really, really beautiful pale pink shade and it kind of reminds me of like a musky candy floss, which sounds disgusting, but actually a musky candy floss equals this and let me tell you it's a lovely colour. Again I really like the colour, I love pink lip colours as well, they're kind of my go-to colour of choice so for me I love a pink and I think this is really nice again, really wearable for the day and very buildable for the evening as well and if you've got a very dramatic eye look I find that this colour really complements that look as well. Then I have something that's a little bit bright but one that I picked up quite recently and I have wore it quite a lot actually, I do love my bold lip colours. I don't wear them as often as I used to but I find that bold lip colours are brilliant for kind of YouTube videos and Instagrams and evening and this one is definitely one that I would wear in the evening. This is by Urban Decay and it's called Menace and it's a comfort matte. Um, as you can see it is such a bright pretty pink but I just absolutely, whoa it looks really bright on the camera um, but yeah I just absolutely love how bright this is. Um, for me Lipstick is about having a bit of fun, it's about injecting some colour into an outfit and I would wear this with an all black outfit, pop this on and you've got that hint of colour that you need. It always makes me want to kind of dye my hair pink because I can imagine this pink lipstick with pink hair would just pop. So if you've got pink hair, you need this in your life. Then I have a little nude just to even things out a little bit because that one was a little bit crazy. This one is by Too Faced and this is called Topless. And Firstly, this packaging for this is just so amazing. It comes in the most beautiful box as well. Um, completely gold, very heavy, very good quality feeling lipstick. And it is so, so glossy and just luxurious. It just feels like luxury on my lips. And that's not something I ever thought I'd say out loud, but <laughs> this is it. Really nice kind of like honey beige is how I would describe it. And for me, I find nudes quite difficult to kind of wear because I've got such pale complexion, such pale skin and they don't always work for me. I find that because this is so glossy, it just kind of complements my face and complements my skin tone and I can pull it off a little bit better. I think definitely if you've got pale complexion then honey beiges are the way to go if you're going down that nude look. But um, yeah, I really like this. The consistency is amazing. I love how glossy it is and it always makes my lips look a little bit more full and a little bit bigger. Um, again, I don't know if that's mind over matter but it's one that I reach for very often Brilliant for daytime and again in the evening if you've got a very kind of big makeup look on your eyes I find that this really complements it and is subtle enough to kind of wear with a very very made up look. So definitely give it that a go if you're in the lookout for a nude lipstick. The last of my top five lipsticks at the moment is my, oh, I don't know, it's my little baby this lipstick. I absolutely love it. This is by MAC and this is called Toxic Tale. It was one of those um, limited edition ones. I don't know if you can get it anymore, but I think they do one called Poison Apple, which might be similar. I thought that's what this was called, but it's called Toxic Tale. But anyway, it's this really, really nice kind of coral pinky red orangey colour. <laughs> kind of like a quirky twist on the red, which I love. I'm always up for kind of mixing around my reds. And I find that this is really good with kind of like a white dress, a black dress, and it photographs amazingly. So if I was to wear this in a video or a photograph, I always feel like it really pops and it just really kind of stands out and it's kind of like just a really, really good kind of colour 
look. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really like it. And when I wear it, it feels quite nice. So yeah, that's one thing that I love about it. And I don't really know what else to say about it, really. It's just a really nice lip color. <laughs> so guys, there you go. That is my top five lipsticks at the moment. Five that I'm absolutely loving and five that I wear and pick out the most at the moment. You did request this video from my Snapchat, so if you do have any video requests or any questions, make sure you add me on Snapchat and all social media. My name is absolutely everything is Tiny Twist. Don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up and please do subscribe. The button is on the screen right now or you can find it down below. I upload twice a week, so um, yeah, if you subscribe, you can stay up to date with me and it'd be nice to have you along for the ride. Thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you again very soon for another video. Bye!